This video explains how to use Chicago Notes bibliography style, including paraphrasing or quoting sources in the text of your paper, how to insert footnotes or endnotes, how to do shortened citation, and use IBID. The Chicago Manual of Style offers two different methods for citing, the Notes bibliography method and the author date method. Be sure to ask your instructor which style you should use. Also, Chicago is sometimes referred to as Turabian style. In 1937, Kate Turabian developed a guide based on the Chicago Manual specifically for students submitting the papers. The Turabian guide is still published, and while it does differ in small ways, it remains very similar to Chicago. Make sure you are clear on what your instructor expects for your assignment. Whenever you directly quote or paraphrase another source you've read, like a journal, article, or a book, you must cite it both within your paper using a footnote or endnote and in your bibliography at the end of your paper. If you are using a direct word-for-word -word quotation that takes up five lines or less in your paper, it must be in quotation marks, and you must include the page number in the note so your reader can easily find the quotation in the original source. Here's an example. At the end of the quotation and outside of the quotation marks, you insert a footnote, which is a number that refers the reader to the bottom or the foot of your page, or an endnote that refers the reader to a notes page at the end of your paper. If you are using a quote that would take up six or more lines in your paper, you should use a block quote. Start the block quote on a new line and indent the entire quote by hitting the tab key twice. Block quotes are single spaced and you don't need to use a quotation mark. Don't forget your footnotes at the end. How do you insert a footnote or an endnote? After you have finished your quotation, leave your cursor where you'd like to insert the footnote. In Microsoft Word 2010, click on the References tab, then click either Insert Footnote or Insert Endnote. Microsoft Word automatically inserts a number after your quotation and inserts a footnote at the bottom of that page. Here you would enter the information about the source you are citing. The information you need to include and how it should be formatted depends on the type of source. For specific examples, check out our videos on how to cite a book, ebook, journal article, newspaper or magazine, thesis or dissertation, or website. If you've already cited a source once and you need to cite it again, you can use a shortened citation in your footnote. For a shortened citation, you need only to include the author's last name, a shortened title, and the page number. If your title is five or more words long, use a shortened title. A shortened title uses only one or two keywords from the original title. If you cite a source and then are citing that same source again in the next note, you may use IBID, which is Latin for in the same place, followed by the page number if the page number is different. Only use IBID if it refers to the source directly preceding it, in this case, Butts Early Settlers. If you're referring to that source again and the page number is also the same, you don't need to repeat the page number. You only need to write IBID. At the end of your paper, you will also have a bibliography or a list of all the sources you cited or refer to in your paper. Your bibliography is not just a compilation of your footnotes or endnotes. There are differences in how the information in your footnotes is formatted and how the information in your bibliography is formatted. Make sure you watch our videos on how to cite a book, ebook, journal article, newspaper or magazine, thesis or dissertation, or website for specific examples. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit the Munn Library's website and check out our Chicago Notes Bibliography Guide or chat live with library staff.